Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, I have a two-port NVMe docking station from our good friends over at Acasis that allows you to use your NVMe or SSD drives as external storage by simply connecting this to your computer and popping the drives in one of the two slots on the top. It also provides an offline cloning function that allows you to duplicate those drives at the push of a button without the need for a computer at all. Now, before I get too deep into the review of the product, I always like to start with an unboxing just to show you all the components that are included with the kit, and that way you know exactly what you're going to get if you buy the product. And then I'll spend a few minutes and point out some of the features that make this a pretty special product. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the two-port NVMe dock, you'll find two USB-C cables, one is a USB-A to USB-C, and the other one is a USB-C to USB-C. And these are short cables, but they're heavy duty, and they make it really easy to connect this up to your computer to transfer files or to use those SSD and NVMe drives as pure external storage. You'll also find a five volt DC power supply. You can plug this end into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the unit and provides all the power you'll need to operate the product. You'll also find a full instruction manual that explains everything you'll possibly need to know about using the product correctly when it's connected to your computer. It also shows you how to instigate that cloning operation as an offline process. Now, a few things to keep in mind. This unit is specifically designed to work with certain versions of SSD and NVMe drives, and those include PCIe NVMe M.2 keyed drives, as well as BNM keyed SSD drives. It won't work with M.2 SATA drives or AHCI SSD drives. So make sure you're using the right kind of drives with this particular product. It also works on all the operating systems out there that are pretty common, including Windows with version seven or later, Mac OS 10.5, and Linux 2.4 kernel. So all those operating systems fully support this. It'll show up as a plug and play device if you connect it up to your computer. Now, a couple of things that make it pretty special. For starters, it's got an all aluminum case. A lot of the external drive bays are plastic. I like the fact that it's got a hard case, which means it's incredibly durable. It's gonna last forever. It also helps to cut down any kind of interference that may get into the product. If there's noisy things in the room, if you're around uh, fluorescent lights, you've got other things, fans and things like that, that are generating a lot of noise. This will keep it nice and clean because remember the SSD drives and the NVMe drives you're gonna plug in here are high speed drives. So anytime you have high speed data transfer between a computer and a storage device, there's always the possibility that you can introduce noise. So the aluminum case will help cut down on that. On the bottom of the unit are two rubber feet. I like that because it protects the surface you put it down on. It also keeps it from skidding around on your desk. Now I'll take a closer look at it in a minute and explain the connections and ports on it. But essentially you'll pop the drives in on top. You'll pop one in here, one in here. If you want to offline clone them, you don't need to connect it up to your computer. You'll basically plug in the power supply, plug in your two NVMe drives or your SSD drives and tap that button. If you hold the button for a couple seconds, it'll start the cloning process and you'll see the progress on these LEDs up top. The other nice thing about it is that it's incredibly fast because if you're going drive to drive, there's no interaction with your computer at all. You're basically just plugging into, again, NVMe or SSD drives and copying it between the two units, which is really nice. The product itself is small enough where it fits on any desk. The aluminum brushed covering on it makes it look really upscale. It's a very high tech looking product, so it fits in with any decor and it's just incredibly simple to use. Now, if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is take a closer look at the unit and explain the ports, connectors and indicators. And then I'll come back at the end and really point out a couple of things that separate this one from a lot of other cloning products on the market and the docking stations that are available for NVMe drives. Inside the kit, you'll find the docking station, a 5 volt DC power supply, which again has a barrel connection on the end, which plugs into the side of the unit. I'll show you that in a minute. The other end can plug into any standard wall outlet. You'll also find two USB cables in there. There's a USB-C to USB-C. You'll plug this into the docking station, the other end into your computer. If you have an older computer, you'll plug this into the docking station and the USB-A into any available port on your computer. So the docking station itself, again, is an aluminum cabinet, which makes it incredibly durable. It's lightweight, but it's incredibly durable, and it helps to knock down some of the outside interference that may cause issues with the data transfer. On the top of the unit, you'll find two slots that handle the NVMe or SSD drives. I've got a Samsung drive right here. You'll simply make sure you have the keying correctly. You'll plug that into the unit, just like that, and then it'll immediately be seen as external storage from a computer once you connect this up to your computer. If you need to clone these, you'll plug two drives in here. You have to make sure that the target drive is at least as large or larger than the uh, source drive. So you wanna make sure that you've got a larger drive in there. And once you've got them both plugged in and you've powered up the unit, you'll hold this button 
and you'll see these lights come on down the bottom and they'll show you the progress as the data is being transferred between these. And again, the beautiful part is I don't need a computer connected to this. I can directly transfer between these two drives using just the dock alone. So on the one end of the dock, you'll find a port here, a USB-C port. That's where you'll connect up the cable between here and your computer. You'll plug the power supply into the wall. The barrel connector plugs in right there. And then to the right, you'll see a power button. You can tap that. It'll actually turn the unit on. On the bottom, you'll find those rubber feet I mentioned a minute ago. And those are nice because they keep it on a desk firmly. It's not going to slide around a lot. And it also prevents it from scratching a surface you put it down on. That's pretty much it for the dock. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few key things to keep in mind when you're comparing the Acasis NVMe docking station to others you may be considering. The first thing is, it's a combination docking station and a cloner. A lot of times when you buy an NVMe docking station, that's all it does. You can plug an NVMe drive into it and use it as external storage. You can transfer files to it, but you can't clone that drive. This one has got a dual purpose. It acts as a docking station. By the way, it's a two-port docking station, so you can plug two SSDs or two NVMe drives into it and access both of those from your computer, but it also acts as an offline cloner, which is something you're going to want to do on occasion where you've got maybe an NVMe drive you took out of a laptop and you need to clone that drive to a larger drive to put back in the laptop. You can do that offline without needing a computer at all, and that's a big benefit. I also like the aluminum case. I know that seems like a small thing, but a lot of the docking stations and cloners out there use a plastic case, which isn't as durable. This is small. It fits into any bag. So if you go on the road with your laptop and you're using the NVMe drives as external storage, it's not really hard to bring it along. I love the fact that it's durable. It also, like I'd mentioned, cuts down on outside interference, causing any issues with the data transfer into those drives. The other thing I like about this kit is the fact that they give you everything you need to use it. A lot of these units rely on external power from the computer, which a lot of times won't work really well. They don't include USB-C cables or USB cables at all. Then you've got to go hunting for a cable. A lot of times the cables you're trying to use won't support high-speed data transfer. With this one, you get the cables you need. These do support high-speed data transfer because the last thing you want is incredibly fast drives here, an incredibly fast computer, and slow cables between the two because that, that small pipe is going to take a lot of time to get those files over to the drives. So including the cables is really nice. I love the fact that it provides an external power supply because even though you may be able to power some of the docking stations on the market from the USB port, Having an external power supply means you're not drawing that power from the computer. You may not cause problems down the road with you know, supplying external power to a docking station. So all those things being equal really make this a pretty special product when you compare it to other docking stations on the market. So I hope you found this review helpful. And until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.